What's up electronic fans? We've got a great treat here today. Got a unboxing of this Freenove RFID starter kit. If you're getting into electronics, there is everything in here to keep you excited for a long period of time. Let's take a look inside, see what we've got inside this box. This box comes from Amazon. I think it's about 20 something pounds worth. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. It's actually quite a nice box. Normally this sort of stuff just comes in some rubbish packaging that you can't reuse. Everything's packed in here. Got a resistor colour code chart that's handy if you're starting out in electronics and you uh, can't remember all of those numbers and values. This will get you going. Got a custom service card. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's the link to the tutorials. There's actually a big manual. Uh, we'll ha we'll have a look at that later on in the video and go through that. A four x four matrix keypad, and if those little projects there, you could build some kind of combination lock with that. Uh, passcode or sending codes, a phone application, something like that. So uh, four by four, so you've got eight pins. Uh, you'll have four rows and four columns. Uh, just plug that in and scan it across. You'll soon read that out. <coughs> uh, we'll go from this side. Let's have a look, see what's in here. Uh, let's have a look. That is in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Some kind of A to D board by the looks of it, maybe. We'll, uh, we'll grab the chip number off that later and we'll be able to tell you exactly what it is. Um, that's a bag of components there. Different LEDs. It looks like that one there. Four leads on it. That'll be a multicolour LED. Um, infrared sensor. Some push buttons. Transistors. Red. Green, blue LEDs, push buttons, diodes, uh, thermistor maybe, little thermistor in there, uh, infrared, infrared remote control. Should we have to use that and press and send codes and read those in? Uh, what else have we got in here? A USB lead. That'll be to connect to the microboard, uh, which comes with this. Uh, it's an Arduino R3, I believe. So, uh, yeah, this is probably one of the biggest features of this kit. This is your RFID board, uh, complete with your RFID tag there. Um, so, yeah, that's that, that's one of their, their selling points for this particular, particular kit. Um, We've got a 1602, that's a two-line LCD display. Uh, looks like a parallel interface on that one. It's not a serial interface, it's a parallel interface. But yeah, nice display nevertheless. All packaged up, ready to go. Servo. <coughs> Servo unit there, uh, completely cabled up with a plug on. Um, different types of uh, actuator adapters there that you can connect onto that. Connect that up for your little robotics projects or moving arm or something like that. A little vehicle you could build. Some uh, jumper wires here. So you'd use these to connect in between your breadboard and the microcontroller board. Uh, just wire different things up. You wire LEDs, you wire switches, um, all, all to this board. I think we'll come into this next, actually. Yeah, so here is the uh, yeah, it's a Arduino Uno board uh, with a little Atmel 80 mega chip on there. Yep, sealed up, ready to go. There's a few ports on there ready for use. Your power connector, you've got a USB. Configuration jumpers. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Pack of resistors. Uh, let's have a look. Red, red, black, 220. Um, the multiplier. 
Okay, so yeah, you got some 200, 200, 220R, so they're ideal for um, using as current limiting resistors if you're driving an LED from 5 volts drop the voltage down and make sure you don't burn the LED out uh, looks like we've got some 10k in there some other values but there's a few values to get you going there that's quite a nice selection another bag of bits here button caps for your switch uh, we've got a humidity sensor again some more LEDs a few capacitors choice capacitors there some more switches I mean you know again it's perfect kit this you know if you want to if you're getting started out in electronics you know and you just want to be pressing buttons and reading that into the microcontroller activating some outputs and driving some LEDs this is definitely for you obviously that RFID is is the exciting part of of the kit um, you know that's something to to look forward to as well but certainly even if you're a beginner this is this is you know definitely for the price it's absolutely fantastic um, got an ultrasonic uh, ranger here so you know again you could build that as a collision avoidance um, something like that um, stick it on a little car or something like that or even you know perhaps as a proximity detector if something walks past it and you know you know that there's, there's movement going on in a particular area little motor here again I uh, don't know what the voltage of that is but uh, I would say we'll uh, we'll find out in the data sheet and this looks like a stepper motor again it's nicely wired up and terminated which is lovely yep stepper motor 5 volt DC so uh, you know again if you was in in some kind of control project um, you you could soon soon get that going and make some use of that ah here yeah it looks like um these almost look like the same style of of uh, joystick buttons that they've got in xbox controllers actually so you've got an x and a y i'm not quite sure if feels like you've actually got a push down as well yeah sw yeah so we've got ground five volts uh, VRX, VRY and SW so I'm guessing it, it is a push down these are almost exactly the same as an Xbox controller um, so yeah that's that's quite a nice little controller there you know again something you could do you could control um, a little vehicle with that by all means uh, down this side we've got a battery box here pop two AA batteries in there and you'll be able to power things up uh, you know again it's all leaded and made up for you, so that's uh, that's nice. On this breadboard, <clears throat> got some uh, additional things on there. We've got another set of jumper wires. Uh, that'll come in handy. Three potentiometers. Uh, three ten. Yeah, they're all ten. Uh, all ten k's. So uh, yeah, you know, nice little selection there. Perhaps you could. Uh, you could read them into the microcontroller, you could dim an LED or uh, spin that motor slower or quicker. And we've got some uh, two ICs on here L2930 and uh, Logic Chip 74HC 595. Um, and we've got a selection of displays on here you know it's always nice to have a project that you can get some displays working and get some visual output going so we, we could do a bar graph with this one um, we've obviously got a matrix display there what's that one two three four five six seven eight it'll be eight eight by eight one two three four five, six, yeah eight by eight uh, seven segment display here and uh, a bank of four seven segment displays there these two here 
look like um, sounders, buzzers. You know, again, absolutely nice. Um, all on this breadboard as well. You know, the idea is ah relay. Yeah, so if you wanted to switch something of a higher voltage, you've you've actually got the capability there. Drive the coil uh, from your microcontroller, and you can you've got some outputs there. You can switch something higher voltage. Three amps, two hundred and fifty volts is the contacts on that. So yeah, you know, again, nice little additional component there for your kit. You, your idea with all of this is you've you've got microcontroller here I'm going to use these jumper wires to connect between the microcontroller um, and whatever project you've built on here you know you could use some of these LEDs <coughs> some of these LEDs connected together or even make a seven segment display driven directly from this some of the 220 ohm resistors to limit the current you'd be uh, absolutely well well away there you know, all, all in all, for, for the money, this is, you know, the, the amount of value, I'll spread all this out here, the amount of things that you get that you can actually make use of in this is, yeah, it's, it's a really well put together kit to be quite honest. What we're going to do is, we're going to, um, in a later video, we're going to do some work with this kit. I'm going to look through what Freenove have put together as their... Um, PDF file, their project file, and uh, we're gonna we'll work through some of these, and we'll we'll get them up on YouTube for you to see, so you can have a look and uh, judge for yourself as to what their what their projects are like. Uh, I have had a quick flick through the PDF, and it is actually quite good, to be fair. I mean, to get all of that for the money uh, from Amazon next day delivery you know you're soon going to be getting on with a project there without any shadow of a doubt I, I, I can't even foresee what else you could include really you know that you that you could say well like, you know i can't get on and do something there is everything you need here um so we're going to move on now we're going to take a look into the uh we're going to move on and take a look at the pdf now i'll get that up on the screen and we'll have a we'll have a quick look through that just so you can see what else is uh, is delivered to get you going with this kit and we're back so um we're just gonna have a look through we're gonna have a look through the amazon this is this is the amazon page of the kit that we've purchased you can find this free nove rfid we'll uh, we'll actually drop a link to this product page in the in the description below so take a look out for that um, it's £26.95 now. We paid £22.95 a couple of weeks ago. Um, so, you know, it does. it is fluctuating in price. It's about uh, $28, something like that, the price that we paid. A bit more now as it's gone up. The important thing to look out for is this down here, this download link. Um, if you highlight that and open that link, in a new tab you'll get the download which is all of the PDFs and everything that Freenove have put together to get this kit working it is actually very comprehensive um, really comprehensive actually I've, I've opened it up here just to have a quick look so I'm not going to show you everything you know obviously as you go through the start here you've got usual notices make sure you don't swallow any of the components um, that sort of thing small children hazards things like that liquid fire yeah you know this is all standard stuff really if you're messing about with electronics then uh, yeah who, who knows who knows what you could be doing with the components but whatever you do don't swallow any I've scrolled down here they've they've actually got a lot of different projects um, it seems they work through and work through and then the RFID one which is this what this kit's, kit's based on is is right at the end here but all in all there's uh, there's well over you know 
23 individual projects and some of them are sort of more than one sub project as well so you know look out for that there's definitely I'd, I'd probably say if you work through all of these there's a good two weeks you know worth of projects for you to get build in there as we work through you know they really do break down this is is geared for a beginner you know to be fair um, it, the, the way they label everything and show you how it all connects together uh, it is quite detailed um, I think I've seen some comments elsewhere that people ask about the the quality of this particular tutorial you know uh, as with anything everything could always be better but actually this is is certainly workable without any shadow of a doubt I'm going to show you uh, I'm going to show you one of the projects down here just to see how it breaks down so this is uh, controlling an LED by a manual button you know so it breaks down the components you need the controller board the breadboard USB cable jumper wire uh, one LED one resistor one push button it then goes on to show you um, some background knowledge of how they're going to make it all work which is great, a uh, bit of voltage, battery knowledge, you know, and again, working out units and things like that. You know, again, this is all good reference stuff. And then uh, finally, we get on to the actual circuit itself. What they're showing you here is that, you know, I think they're going to lead on and say, well, we need this resistor to limit the current going to the LED. Explaining how all the individual components work and their placement you know we can see here it's showing you how to wire all that together and obviously what the intended operation is and then uh, finally you end up down here they actually break down the sketch which is uh, is all included you know as you look through here this sketch here will match this particular chapter so you can actually load this into the Arduino IDE and uh, get running straight away with you know very little effort at all it is all designed for speed once you've loaded one of these in and tested it out then of course there's nothing to stop you actually um, editing that code you know and saying oh well you know what if I try this how, how does that work um, absolutely fantastic you know they break down all of the functions here and show you how it's all based and and what what's what you know what what was going on in their mind at the time really cannot fault this at all uh, it's definitely definitely well worthwhile buying so that wraps up this video thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and uh, i've got a good insight into what you will get with this free nove kit we're going to be uh, revisiting this kit very soon and uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll build up a few of the projects from their manual and we'll show you those in operation and work through them uh, so you can see for yourself and, uh, and you know, make your own judgement as to whether this, this kit is for you or not. I do just want to point out something very important. You can just go to the Amazon listing and download the resources. You don't actually need to buy the kit to get the link or anything like that. So there's nothing stopping you looking through all the materials first and uh, having a look through and seeing whether it's for you or not, basically. Thank you for watching. We look forward to seeing you again.